How would you evaluate the foreign policy of Rouhani's government in terms of the nuclear deal sanctions and the new U.S. administration? Is it heading in the right direction? We are waiting for changes to U.S. foreign policy. The problem between the U.S. and Iran runs much deeper than just the nuclear deal. If someone thinks that the deal is the only leverage for settling issues between the two countries, this is very far from the reality. The problem is much wider and it needs to be addressed on different levels. Both parties have to solve problems based on fairness and mutual respect. Discrepancies between Iran and the U.S. are based on history, and the nuclear deal alone can't fix this. We've seen how the nuclear deal was fine in writing, but it resulted in nothing positive in reality. The reason, as I've already mentioned, is that the problem is way more complicated. Moreover, the deal wasn't concluded according to international standards. Besides, if both parties intend to compromise on something, they will find a solution for any problems that emerge in the future. Six countries have been negotiating over not letting Iran turn into a nuclear state. Those countries sat at the negotiating table with Iran. The deal said it clearly. If there is a new dispute, each country has one voice during the vote over that issue. Thus, those countries which disagreed with Iran on something, they had six votes and Iran had only one. And we hope that Europe will use its abilities as a mediator between the U.S. and Iran. If it wants to mediate, it needs to have a wide range of tools for that, whatever that means. We were counting on that. But I don't think the two countries are really in need of a mediator. If only we could settle all the current issues. Of course, we should welcome all initiatives aimed at genuine mediation. Iran was hit by the killing of General Qasem Soleimani last year. What do you make of his killing and do you think the country's response via the strike on the Ain al-Assad base was enough? We have to delve into the roots of this murder. Did it solve any problem? An assassination is the most disgusting action taken by anyone, even when two sides are warring against each other. Well, war is a clear-cut thing, but when it happens between two parties that simply have disagreements, an assassination doesn't solve any problem. The assassination was carried out by those who've been calling for fighting against terrorism. I hope that terrorism will be defeated one day, and no one will use terrorist methods and commit murder to reach their goals and that no one will use a weapon if they can use reason and words to address the world. Considering the double standards, it leads to disagreements. It's not good when someone imposes their own idea on others via murder. That's true regardless of the person who's killed. I reiterate, in principle, assassination is a bad thing. The martyr, Qasim Soleimani, was a prominent figure and his biography is well known. At the end of the day, does anyone think that a mirror response is important? That would never solve anything. The American government has to realize the necessity of changing its policy. Their attitude during the last 70 to 80 years not only hasn't settled anything, but has aggravated everything much more.